You may have heard some information about vaccines in the media lately. We're here today to debunk some of the myths, but first, what is a vaccine? In general, a vaccine kickstarts your immune system to reduce defenses against a certain disease, so that if you come in contact with something like the flu, your body already has the tools to defend you. Vaccines don't make you sick, they just prepare your body for when germs invade. Now, some people think that many diseases just aren't present in our society anymore, and therefore don't need to be vaccinated against it. If the disease isn't common, no need to build up a defense, right? In fact, this is a myth. Just because a disease might not be common, doesn't mean it isn't out there. The only disease that has been officially eradicated is smallpox. Your body is susceptible to everything else. For example, measles once rare in the U.S. has made a comeback. You may have heard about the outbreak in Disneyland in 2015, with the seven initial measles cases linked to the theme park. Six of these people were not vaccinated. In 2015, there were 159 cases of measles in the U.S., and 45% of these people were not vaccinated. You see, vaccination is very important. It creates what we call herd immunity. If a majority of a population is vaccinated, then those few who aren't will be more protected from the disease. But the more people who remain unvaccinated, the more easily disease can spread. This is especially dangerous for infants and the elderly who are more susceptible to disease. You may have also heard that some people are choosing not to get their children vaccinated because of the possibility that these vaccines cause autism. But this is a huge myth. Autism is a developmental disability caused by differences in brain functions. In 2011, an Institute of Medicine report on eight vaccines given to children and adults found that with rare exceptions, these vaccines are very safe. So an antigen is a substance in vaccines that cause the body's immune system to produce disease-fighting antibodies. So a study from the CDC looked at the number of antigens from vaccines that were given during the first two years of life. The results were that the total number of antigens from the vaccine received was the same between the children with autism and those who did not have autism. One ingredient in vaccines that was thought to cause autism was thimerosal, which is a mercury-based preservative used to prevent contamination of a multi-dose vials of vaccines. So in fact, a 2004 scientific review by the IOM concluded that the evidence favors rejection of a casual relationship between thimerosal containing vaccines and autism. Vaccines protect everyone around us, especially children and those with weakened immune systems. It's our responsibility to protect ourselves and to protect our communities. Know the facts. Ask your doctor. Get vaccinated. Baby got vac? 